Marcus Sturkey ride through these trees like five years ago and thinking he was crazy. <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, maybe one day I'll be that good. What's going on today, everyone? We're up here on the mountain already. We're riding with Julianne, Elise, and Mike. Uh, rode with Mike a few times before. First time riding with Julianne. And uploading this video on International Women's Day, so I thought it'd be fitting to ride with a couple female riders. We're up here in this zone today. First time, actually, this year, which just seems really surprising. Usually this is a pretty frequent one. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful up here. I got a new lens for my camera and I've been having a lot of fun in the last couple days playing around getting some shots with it. As you guys would have just saw. Where'd you go? Right here. No, you literally don't. They should have just hit that one. Come off the tip beside mine. I could.
<laughs> you are so big. <laughs> Got everybody doing the drops. We got a drone in the air. We're gonna do a little shoe pull that we did last year. Let's see if we can do it on the turbo. Did it on the players last year. Oh yeah, no problem. The sled makes it way too easy. Look at this nerd. Take it off. some snow on your uh, lens yeah. a little bit I just seen the thing in front of me I'm like uh, that doesn't look good I think it's to the side of the lens enough that it should be still a decent shot maybe
You didn't know we were going to be put, putting you to work today, did you? <laughs> She's loving it. She never sends it. Like, this is going to go home so fucking stoked. Just holding a wheelie. So comparing the 165 to a 154 for a minute. Um, in the past, I'd say I was too scared to get a 165 because it wasn't a playful enough sled for me. But now after riding the 165 with the Turbo R, having that you know 185 horsepower, it makes this feel like a 154. So way less hesitant to jump on a 165 after riding this. Lunch cooked yet? I can smell a mixture of burnt croissant and burnt belt. <laughs> I should probably flip mine. Got gourmet today. You know, yeah, I could smell it. Eating Jordan's home cooked. Uh... Oh, wow. I completely forgot to bring his lunch. You didn't bring those? No, I totally forgot. What an idiot. Jordan, he doesn't even appreciate you. This is probably gonna top Jordan's lunch anyway. Wait till you see what I got in here. Wait for this gourmet lunch. Yeah. Oh no. It's been, it's been a long time since I've had these. This is a Jason McMurray classic right here. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Pizza pocket. On cheese though, that's, that's oh. nice. Nice. Let's see here, Chris. We got the Turcotte special going on here today. The hat on the shovel. Perfect day for it. Okay. Now it eats cold. Slide. It's full season. I think he's stuck under it. Yeah. Julianne going for the hill pull. 165 9R. No problem. <laughs> What do you think of the 65? Uh, it makes it too easy. <laughs> might have to find some uh, gnarlier shoots. Oh God. <laughs> you were flying up that thing. Yeah. Good thing your snowmobile wasn't parked there. Uh, yeah, I, was, I knew that. <laughs> Whee! I think that 146 would go up there. been taking some sights this morning and doing some jumping and some shoe poles but now I think we'll go find some burnt trees to do some tree riding in. Also yesterday we rode up on that mountain there. You won't see that video until uh, probably the fall but it's a pretty cool spot. The tree ride in there was a lot of fun too. Right up on that peak there yesterday. Oh yeah, you can see, oh, yeah, her, can see, you can see her tracks all the way through the alpine yeah. there. Up through the trees. I wanted to film these guys going down this here. But it is way farther than I thought it was from standing over here. Looks like good snow though. I'll go join them now. Life. 
Actually, you know what? I want I want to film someone coming down that from right here. Okay. I was even gonna say someone film me. shots over here <laughs> we got the camera going we got the drone going we'll, we'll go up like this and yeah, <laughs> it hit me! Woo! Thanks! Not gonna see too much from here, but this this lighting right now looks so sweet. These shots are gonna look pretty good. A little bit far away, but I think uh, I think the one of me going up through the trees here is gonna look pretty sweet too. I'm a little rosy, eh? <laughs> Does someone want to come back over here where we first dropped in? It'll look really cool right now. How's that 146? Dude, see that? What? It just backfired and stopped. Um, I don't know if it was the snowmobile. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> that would have been funny. You can just stop and then keep going. But if I have momentum and I'm pushing, I can't even. <sighs> excuses, excuses, eh? <laughs> Three, two.
long time from that one. I remember like four or five years ago building a little jump right here. Woo! I'll have to watch the video back from when we did that little jump on there to see see what my video was like four years ago. That was the first year I was doing the dailies. I think today will be one of the only videos of the season so far where I didn't get any tree riding action in. <laughs> Seems kind of weird. I feel like I feel like the video is missing something without that. But I mean, you guys have watched lots of tree riding over over uh, the years, I guess. So we got our jerry can, and it's time to head out. <laughs> we didn't burn all our gas today, but. Honestly, it's a really good day up here. Look at cool light there at the end of the day. I think those shots were like really good. I maybe got too many cinematic shots today and not enough like behind the scenes action. It's cool to have Mike out with us too with his drone getting those shots and he likes to film too. So that's, it's cool to have other people out that like to do that type of stuff. It's also, I mean, nothing wrong with riding with guys that like to just shred, because <laughs> I love to just shred too, but those days it's just GoPro stuff, and then there's days like this where you get a lot of cool shots. And like I was saying before, before my battery died, Julianne is the owner, she shreds Mountain Adventures, and then Elise is her main guide, and they both rip on the sled, really good riders. And what they do is they take women out and basically teach them how to ride. I think they do some guiding too, but uh, I think they both make great teachers because they have that high energy, positive attitude. I think what she does is a great place for uh, women that are getting into the sport to go for a, you know, a clinic and learn to ride and gain some confidence. Oh. Good day, all three hey, of you. Yeah, super fun day. Yeah, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>